Morning. Blessed love. Hey, this is Rasa's First Nation. One of us down. The right honorable Sir Alexander Bedward Restorer. Founder of Alexander Bedward Foundation. Thank you. Miss Amy Grandparents. Where would I be without you? Where would I be? Miss Amy Grandparents. Ooh. Where would I be without you? Oh, Lord. Good morning again. I say to say, youth and youth who leave their home, who leave their mother, or they leave from among their father, or their grandparents, or whichever family may be. These families, they have land, they have title for the land. I know that many parents don't look out for a children a child really expect. So, no child, them grow and them flee from among parents. Not even, not even looking back. So I say to say, come back home to your parents and protect what they had lived for. Their houses, their land, and their welfare. Too many elder peoples are living alone. And while these elder people are living alone, this is it. You have people who form organizations in the order of churches. And these elderly people, these church people go around and they specifically look for old people or disabled people who has no one around them. But these old and disabled people, they have lands and they have titles for it. So these churches now send in young students of their church to live with this old person or this disabled person. In doing so, that church begin to claim each and everything that disabled person have or that old person have. By reason of they being the caretaker of your grandmother or your grandfather or your disabled mother, father, brother, sister or person who you live in the wilderness of life. But they have something very necessary. Land and title. So these church people come in and they know these things. So through aiding of the church, they aid these elderly people. While this and they doing so, they have all rights to each and everything that elderly or that disabled person have. So when that disabled person or that elderly person died, the so-called children of that family they cannot come in and claim any land or any asset of that person because the church theirself claims everything for that person who they have been taken care of for all the years or months or days. Yes, the church will claim all that is there for that person. 
No, this is it. And I say this to say that leave the community. without space to live. So that old person, daughter, son, nephew, niece, because of their lackadaisicalness or their caring of heart or their forgiveness of tata, ata, mind and soul, everything turned over into the hands of a church which is unknown, not known. So I say to say, Please, take care of your mother and your father. Look out for your grandfather. Look out for your grandparents. Look out for the disabled. Look out for the, 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 the maimed. Look out for the, 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 the mentally sick who have very important stronghold according to land and title and asset because these people have been targeted by many church people. Land have always been a problem for the poor class people, time by time. So the little that your grandparents or the parents before you fought for and preserved through paper rights. Please my children, please my people, I beg of you, protect that right. Protect that right. See me grandparents. Where would I be without you? Where would I be? When I was down and no grandfather empower me. In a vision, my grandmother encouraged me. When I was joining in the pressures of life, them said chat to the mountains and buried in the silences. No way to sleep, him say sleep side of him, him say. No food to eat, him say eat from his plate, him say. Hey, this is Rasa First Nation. Do you remember? Love, I remember thy people before you. Give thanks.